You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, on the AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, and streaming live on Ustream, this is AfterBuzz TV for Ringer. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest Ringer news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. And now, picking up where the show leaves off, and the buzz continues, it's After Buzz TV for Ringer! Yay! <laughs> it's Tuesday! It's Tuesday, it's Ringer Day! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Who's excited? I am. I'm excited. I am. Oh, that sounded real convincing. I am! Okay, thank you. Sorry, that's all Miley can do. <laughs> thank, I was going to say thank you, <laughs> that's Hannah. That's all the enthusiasm Hannah, Miley can Chappie. give. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, thank you, everyone. Uh, welcome, everyone, to After Buzz TV. I'm your host for tonight, Deidre Behar. You know we're talking about Ringer, and we're keeping it really real over here. At least yeah, we're we trying to. Yeah. Are we? Yeah. I we're mean, gonna attempt. We're no, gonna we're gonna it. attempt. DJ, are you trying to bring bad girls into the room? <laughs> <laughs> I heard you guys got really rowdy last night. We did because oh. Kevin co-hosted it with us, and he implemented two rules. You have to call each other bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. And awesome. we periodically had to check in with each other. Like, uh, let's just check in real quick. Are you keeping it real? Okay. <laughs> Team real. I'm real. Okay. Oh, so awesome. Can these stop it? Can what? Can these rules carry over? Absolutely. So, Ringer Absolutely bitch. Absolutely bitch. <laughs> Siobhan bitch. She looks fucking... Siobhan up. bitch. She looks... She looks... You need to watch it. This is why last week I hosted. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My privileges got temporarily taken away. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had to work. I swear I really had to work last week. Um, how was it? Did you guys miss me at all? Well, so I, have I have separation anxiety. I actually... You guys have a caller who has been blowing us up. Yeah! Oh, already. Bring it. So, caller, you're on the line with the girls. Hello. Hey, Hi. how's it going? <laughs> Hi, I'm doing really well. How are you guys? <laughs> We're good, great. thanks. Great. We're great. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Uh, my name is Jenny, and I'm calling from Boulder, Colorado. Awesome. Go Love Buffs. Colorado. Yes, thanks go, for calling. Exactly, Go Buffs. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was wondering if it's okay if I ask two questions. Yeah, of course. We, we um, got my, time. <laughs> my first one is, um, how do you guys like Sarah Michelle Geller in this? Do you think it was a good fit for her? Good question. Um, let's throw it across the table first, because I know I'm a huge Sarah Michelle Gellar fan, yeah. but I know you guys like bleed for the ground she walks yes. on. So That's why don't you guys right. take it? Oh my God. <laughs> I was hoping her character is going to be a little stronger, which is what I'm used to seeing her do. Um, so it's stronger, not like, like stronger woman. Um, yeah, stronger woman. More not dynamic. Like, yeah, more dynamic. Okay. Um, but this one just she just seems a little, you know, bored. Um, and it's not her best character for me, but I do like her in this role. So are you a cool. Buffy or a Catherine Murtoy fan? I'm a Buffy fan. Okay. Yes. Because I worship Catherine from Cruel Intentions. <laughs> Who no. Does it? not? Okay. Not. That was a bit Cruel of a delayed Intentions response. Cruel Intentions is actually and... one of my favorite movies. Oh, yeah? Is that yeah. where, is that where you in initially fell in love with SMG? Um, How I, I kind of like her in like a darker, more mysterious role. So I think that's kind of where I fell in love with her. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Cool. What's your second question? Um, who's your guys' favorite character on the show so far? Oh, that's a good question. Juliet. Yeah, she wasn't in this one. She's and so wait, she's supposed to be in eighth grade. <laughs> <laughs> you guys. No, Julia. No, it's just to show I don't how much she, she didn't yes. know her, the, the, the girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was insinuated that she's in eighth grade. She's That's what the lady. Lady. She looks the like lady, she's my age. The lady who went to FAO Schwartz insinuated Juliet is in eighth grade. Well, it is. It is New York City, and those girls do grow up really. They run in the food nowadays. Yes. What? So. I said, I guess I'll give you that. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Um, okay, so so Taylor says Juliet, Siobhan. Um, Detective Eyeliner. Oh. Can, can you say detec who Detective Eyeliner is for all the viewers out there who don't um, know? Uh, Nestor Cabanal's character. I don't know his real... Agent Machado. Agent Machado. Okay, okay. thank you. you. Yes, Agent Machado. <laughs> because he does his makeup nicely. Yes. And he does his job well. Yes. And he's right. very suave, too. Very Rico Suave. Yeah. Nice. 
David Skifalitti. I am really digging Sio Bahan, the real one. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was going to say, Sio right? Bahan. Sio Bahan, I love her. She's so glamorous and she's in Paris. I love her. She's, she's pregnant. Sm- she smokes yeah. in bars. She she smokes while pregnant. Her. She drinks yeah. while pregnant. She's Makes reckless. Out, goes to vomit. Ballsy. Yeah. Yeah. Ballsy. She's <laughs> reckless and she dresses well. She's everything I want to be. Nice. God, you stole <laughs> mine. Okay. As we all noticed, I'm rocking my Siobhan hair. Can can we get a close up on that? Zoom in on that. <laughs> can you zoom in on the part? Because we had to force her to do that. <laughs> My hairstylist <laughs> was just doing it before the show started. And and I believe Thanks. he he gave you that part with a pen. I did. Yes. <laughs> so we keep it classy over here at After Buzz TV. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm not going to say it. Never mind. Okay. So your Move votes on. your votes for Siobhan, Siobhan as well? Siobhan. Okay. Real. My Siobhan. votes for Andrew. Really? Oh my God. Dapper, yeah. British. It's like he speaks and I hear the trumpet sounding. I just. <laughs> He's so now, regal. Is He's it, so yeah. regal. Yes. Oh. Is it just his accent? It's his accent, but it's his aura. It's his okay. confidence. It's how debonair he is, if you will. Um, I, 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 think I like I, will. His, I like his swagger. <laughs> but then I'm also not one to discriminate against a little Henry action. Okay, I think Henry's no. a charmer. He worked with Jessica Alba. So. No, <laughs> Henry's, Henry's not attractive. Worked, Henry was the first Jessica Alba, Until we figured and out Andrew who he was. is the actual Jessica <laughs> Alba. Yes. <laughs> so Andrew was the one who was in Fantastic yes, Four. Andrew yes. is Jessica Alba. And Henry was on Life Unexpected with Kerr Smith. Right. Got it. Okay. Who's in the Secret Circle now? The the young girl on okay. that. Kerr Smith was in um, that show on the CW many 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 moons ago about aliens. Oh, Roswell? Yes. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Uh, which Jessica Alba was also? No. no. Oh, no, she was in Dark Angel. Sorry. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Jenny, do you have a favorite character, or you just you just love uh, Siobhan and, and Bridget? Chivette. Chivette. Uh-oh. You're gone. Oh, we lost Jenny. Okay, thanks for calling. Thanks for calling. Yay. Thanks for calling Please in. Please call again. Yeah. <laughs> we love I think callers. she's called in for Pretty Little Liars before. Okay, so maybe she's a fan of yours. Or yours. Ooh. Ooh. I think we're so modest. <laughs> um, wait, I want to really quickly introduce everybody I'm sitting here with tonight because I didn't get a chance to do it earlier. Um, a stellar panel, nonetheless. We've got Miss <laughs> Siobhan Hughes. Hello. Which your glasses are phenomenal. Thank you. I you, love them. Yeah. Is that your... Um, like signature accessory? You know, I think it's gonna be now. Cause you had some cool red ones yeah. two weeks no, ago. Well, I had like the black, black rims, total black rim ones. Oh, nice. Yeah, but now I think I might get some red ones. That's like I, a nice little I, suggestion. I thought you rocked red. Yeah, I had the red lips. Oh, that's what it was. That's I knew I saw red. red. So sorry, my psyche. Okay. All about the bold statement. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Paul Smith himself, <laughs> David Skiffalitti. <laughs> That's me. And hairstylist, apparently, to yeah. Hannah Monchappi. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Let's party in the USA, people. I actually really love that song. Or Who Paris, doesn't? if you're Sio Bahan. <laughs> I mean, why not? <laughs> We're clearly going on a trip to Paris. <laughs> Because you guys worship Sio Bahan. So we'll, we'll, we won't be here next week. Okay. We'll be here. Fair we'll be enough. Sorry about it. Um, but Stephanie Chaplock <laughs> is with us tonight. Hello. She does um, impersonation work for Miley Cyrus on the yes. weekends. If anyone needs a Miley Cyrus impersonator for your children's party, you know who to call. Absolutely. Me. I'll do it. Great. Except um, for you're awful with children. <laughs> Oh, Thank God. you for throwing <laughs> Do you know something we don't know? After oh my God. Exclusive. I think everyone knows this. After Buzz exclusive. Yeah, can we get the After Buzz exclusive yeah. yeah. sound effect? Oh, with children. <laughs> there it is. Thanks. Stephanie Chaplock sucks with kids, uh-huh. so keep her away. Okay, that's not true. <laughs> I am good with children. I'm just not their biggest fan. Are you going to be? They love me, but I just am not. It's not reciprocated. Are you going to be a better mother than Sio Bahan slash Bridget? To who? I don't know. Oh, You're to, un- the un- to the unborn, unborn child fetus, that yeah. she's <laughs> drinking and smoking. Yeah, would you, I would you, hope I'm a little well, better than that. Well, to her defense, she didn't know yes. she was pregnant yet. Whatever. She had gone to the doctor. Isn't there female intuition? They always say, like, you know. Hmm. You I think. always know when I'm pregnant. <laughs> 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 or, it's, or it's cramps. Or, or did you cramps. did you learn that in your menstruation class in college? Uh, no, we didn't cover pregnancy. But can you just quickly tell all the ringer viewers what you told all the Pretty Little Liars no. viewers? Do you know? Are you familiar with this? No. David Skimbaletti no. went to a very liberal, very liberal college. college, and I took a class called the Social Construction and Images of Menstruation. Wow. And we discussed it through history and time, and in product placement and in ads and. You read about that red commercial. novels. All right. So, so is Sia Bahan constantly 
On her period? Yeah. Probably. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, she's pregnant. So she's, no, so she's hormonal. So she's hormonal. Okay. But it's the pregnancy. All right. Last but not least, we have Miss <laughs> Taylor Steinman joining us tonight. She's an After Buzz newbie. <laughs> My first time. Yay. Are you enjoying yourself so far? Oh, yes. Scale of one to ten. Uh, is a 15 a good answer? A fantastic answer. Okay. okay. So we're all in this together. Oh, High always. School Musical. There we go. <laughs> <gonna start> <laughs> that. Oh, Panama and Chappie this. knows her Disney yeah, reference of Paris and Finger Guns. <laughs> <laughs> Just All right, the, uh, the the mature side of the table. <laughs> we're a mess right um, now. So you, right. you guys, we're already we're on episode fun. three. Yes. I'm definitely liking it more. Me it's too. really Thank coming together. God. It's starting to get good. Yeah. It's yes. getting it's much better. better. There's starting to be like some drama developing, which I like. I think from what I read online, you just... It's very seldom that you'll find a pilot episode where you're like, oh, I bleed for this. Like, you just need to let it marinate um, a little right. bit. Buffy pilot episode. Yeah, okay. That one was I never watched okay. Buffy. Died. Oh. Okay, died. Box and that episode, when it first aired, was two hours. <laughs> wait, wait. Well, so the first episode two of Buffy was two hours? Two hours yes. to like really develop a plot. Yes, but it was also, still... I know the Steven Spielberg show I that premiered last night. I did not go to the bathroom okay. during <laughs> the <laughs> premiere of Buffy oh. for two hours. Because was there no TiVo at this point? So you no, no TiVo. Oh. <laughs> so I held it. it. There was, <laughs> there was <laughs> no nothing but you and your Time Warner cable uh, back when Buffy premiered, probably. Right. right. Um, what? I said I didn't have Time Warner either. Oh, okay. Then I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I lived in a foreign country. No, I was just going to say, you know, if the Ringer pilot would have been two hours, I don't think I would have had time for that. If it was the first asleep. episode and the second episode, just back to back. That's what I'm saying. It's like it yeah. would have had more time to develop. Like the first one, it just felt like they were really like trying to like force so much information yeah, on you. That is true. Yeah. yeah. Whereas like, yeah, I get that like the two hours, but you can also fast forward through commercials. So it's really like an hour and a half. So of like just pure... I appreciate your optimism. I still don't think I would have been down. But nonetheless. I would have made you watch it. <laughs> so you really wouldn't have had an option. Get fair. It. Fair enough. <laughs> um, so this episode tonight was called If You Ever Want a French Mission. Which this I man's attractive. don't get. Because yeah. she said, didn't she say if you ever want a French lesson? Lesson. Yeah. yeah. So. So about that. Are we 100% it, sure that's the title? That's the, t- nope, that is that's the, the title. Okay. Okay. You know, they're just throwing us through a little <laughs> yeah. creative loop, if you will, I suppose. Trying to make us it. really think about it. I'm All actually right. genuinely trying to think about <laughs> yeah. it. So then yeah, maybe, in 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 my my maybe we'll piece the, the puzzle together when we maybe discuss there was, it. There was more espionage help. moments going on in oh, this we, Then we noticed. Oh, yeah. Maybe because she was trying to figure out stuff about the phone. And mm. Yeah. Um, okay. So he was really hot. He was very attractive. He's, can we officially deem him the angel face yes. of the ringer? I think I'll give so. it to you. Okay. So this is angel face. He's got wonderful, phenomenal teeth. orthodontics going yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> like so many teeth. My eyes like, zoomed in on his teeth. His he, smile he gets a, a 10 for that. Yeah. Um, and, and I think she looks great. I think some of the outfits kind of redeemed themselves this episode. Yeah, definitely. Can we talk okay. about the accessory choices with this outfit right now? Uh, yeah. Please Go do. ahead. Fashion guru, tell us what you think. <laughs> um, well, from my perspective, this choker is doing nothing for <laughs> anyone right now. Well, I don't. I usually am not one for a dangly earring while accented by a loud, big, yeah. chunky necklace. Well, she is in Paris. Yes. So you can take it, and I think you can take a couple more risks when you are. I was gonna say, in I think a they're very minimalistic like in, in in Paris with their fashion, no? It I might mean, be, but you can take more risks. Okay, agreed. Yeah, they don't they don't dress like Hollywood Boulevard, like glitter and yeah. sparkles and stuff. I think Siobhan, her style <laughs> makes up for <laughs> for Bridget's <laughs> lack of for Briv's just absolute like lack of style. I can't wait for right. Sarah Michelle Geller to be a guest on this show. And when I we just, say so, when you're Siobhan. <laughs> <laughs> and then oh. here we go with her walking in boots that she can't walk in. I liked very, this outfit though. I liked that necklace it is that she's a nice wearing. Outfit. Um. And walking into dark alleys too. Oh wait, yeah, totally she seems to do a lot of really that. Smart. Yeah. So, okay. Listen. Okay. So the episode kicks off. Our girl, your girl, Juliet, has been shipped off to Miami to spend some time with mom. It's a great place to send a girl. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's a drug problem. Right. Yeah. If, if, if you couldn't handle the New York drug scene, Miami is the next logical choice. Straight to Miami. Yeah. Um, Siobhan notices that there's the same picture that was in the hitman's pocket. Um is actually in their home in a frame. Andrew has it framed. Um, so I think the 
the general thought that they wanted us to have was, is Andrew working with the hitman? Well, right. the way that they placed it, like, in the desk, it looked like it was, like, hidden. Say that again. I'm sorry. It looked like the picture was, like, almost hidden. Like, he was, like, hiding. Did, did anyone else feel that way? Like, it wasn't, no. like, outright. Well, it was weird because, like, okay, if you have something you want to put on display, you put it in, like, a visual Instead plane. of, like, under or something. It was, like, legit in a weird shelf, like, on the so floor. They really, like, Unless well, they, like, they were having marriage yeah. problems. Exactly. Maybe okay. he so, put it so away. So she got demoted from the table. <laughs> <laughs> you are being, not being a top shelf wife right now. You are not being top shelf. <laughs> like, and they really set it up to make you think he was doing something right. really shifty there. I mean. Which, I mean. I wise. wouldn't have put it past him because he seems like a very calculating, right. slick um, sort of a guy. But thankfully, that hypothesis was proved wrong and. My boy Andrew Your man stayed true. Yes, <laughs> um, we we saw a lot of detective eyeliner in this uh, episode. Yes. yes, we did. I and we saw a lot of Sio Bahan. Yes, definitely more than more usual. Than, yes, because mm-hmm. you know when I was watching last week's episode, I was thinking to myself, it's not like because do you guys watch The Lion Game? No, no. no. Okay, they split it pretty much f- kind of like 50 50 ish. So that girl, the actress who plays both parts, that's a lot as an actress to yeah. process and you have to go from one personality to the next. Um, I was like, Sarah Michelle Gellar kind of got it easy on this. She only plays Briv. Bridget right. Briv. Uh, Bridget, Bridget as, as Siobhan. Siobhan. Um, <laughs> but no, we, we got to see a little of the saucy Siobhan. Love episode. it. I like that they're bringing her in more though. Yeah. Me too. She's a good character. I think I'm going to like her better in the long run. Well, I always love the bad girl. Yes, I always love the bad girl. They give me more to work with. That's why I think I connected so well with Juliet. Oh, she's so feisty. <laughs> Juliet, eighth grader. <laughs> Whoa. At a party. Yeah. Like, wait, and by the way, last week when Siobhan was like, you're high, what was what kind of drugs were we alluding to? Ecstasy. She said she, it was like a, a pill, pink yeah. pill. Or that, pink was, pill. that was at the end. She pink said pill. it was an orange pill. But yes. like, she, didn't know she had was. come back and then there's like all this suspicion uh, of the, the coke. I, yeah. But uh, she never really said. Okay, I was just looking to see how part hard she parties, but or how really hard we hard. party. I'm sure it's a hard yeah. party. <laughs> really, I see right through you. <laughs> this is how hard I party. I <laughs> my after buzz mug. That's Uh-oh, what I do. Oh, getting... <laughs> Somebody's double fisting, so we know. One's the water, real. one's sure juice. Is. Sure it is. <laughs> so, as a thank you for putting on um, that lovely event last minute in the loft. Andrew does something that is so cute and oh, romantic. Yeah. Um, he throws that huge, what would you call that, like a fashion party? It was a An preview. Yeah. A fashion party. It was a fall preview for her. Uh, did they specify the yes, designer? Yes, they did. I'm sorry. <laughs> they, yeah, they like put it up. But it was a random designer. Yeah, I've never heard of it before. I, I was going to say, was yeah. it Halston? Halston, but no, no, no it was no. something with an H. It was, but they showed it earlier, but it's just yeah. a random like fake designer. Okay, so it was like angel face designs. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> it might as well have been. No, there was a name. Okay. Well, we it was like a C and then a slash and then an H. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I knew I saw an H somewhere. Yeah. Um, I thought that that was so But sweet. she's so like Hard suspicious. And difficult. She's very difficult. So suspicious. Wouldn't you be if like there was some random guy trying to kill you and you think your husband just yeah, you know. I mean, I'm not necessarily saying I blame her, but it was just such a sweet gesture that you were just like, no. Oh, yeah. Just go with it. Yeah, enjoy it. Get yeah. your couture gown get made. Yeah. Go to the damn Swan yeah. Lake, okay? <laughs> and just enjoy yourself. Yes, completely. For once. Um, you stripper. <laughs> <laughs> when do we get our flashback? When we got we get I our really flashback thought tonight. I was- but it wasn't a real flashback. I, I was know. praying it but was a flashback. You were like squeezing. I was so excited. <laughs> I was ready for a stripper moment. I need one. I, need I those don't loose think sight heels they're going to be able to do a flashback with Sarah Michelle Gellar because she, she can't dance. Oh. You, neither can Lindsay Lohan, but she did it in I Know yeah. How You Killed Me or but whatever. You know how I feel about that movie. And you know how I feel about exactly. it. Exactly. It was robbed at the Academy Awards. <laughs> oh my God. Completely so. snubbed out of all the categories. Oh, man. Uh, but this scene right here reminds you of Scream. Do you remember when Jamie Kennedy was standing, like they're all in, the, in college and they're like looking around to see who's talking on the phone? It reminds me of that Colin Farrell movie. Phone booth? Yeah. Oh. Isn't that the one that yeah. we're thinking oh, of where he gets all those mysterious yes. phone calls and he's like, where are you looking? Yeah. Where the whole you? movie took place in like a phone, phone booth. booth. Yeah. Yeah. Um, was, like, but you know, like on. I kind of had a little bit of empathy, well not empathy, sympathy for my girl Bridge here because like living your life, like always looking over your shoulder is has got to be annoying, terrifying, such adjectives. 
Can we talk about the entire Pretty Little Liars cast has to deal with this on a weekly basis? I mean, <laughs> okay. my, heart, my heart bleeds for those girls, and it's sort of bleeding in a similar fashion for my girl. But for yeah. someone who Bridget. knows that they're being followed, she really isn't that cautious. Like, Not she walks down all. a dark alley and then asks some huge stranger for help. Yeah. And, well, and calls her homeboy back home yeah, all the time. Exactly. I mean, in, in this scene that we're watching, for the people who are just listening to the audio, um, the caller calls and says, I'm not going to hurt you. You need to put the phone down on the bench and walk away. But it's like you dropped your scarf. Like, I'm there with you. Right. He, he knows. So Which is she, the best way to tell someone that they're you watching you. That was great. Scarf. I mean, your that. scarf is gone. Yes. He's, like, waiting for, like, 15 minutes for her to, like, fuck something else. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's fine. Sorry. It's okay. Ringer, Ringer, Ringer is an R-rated show. Yeah, it's, it's, not as, it's not as childish yeah, as Little Liars. We can get away with leave, more. Leave that one out. Yeah. Um, it's too late. That, that, <laughs> phone, though, that phone kind of became, like, a central theme throughout the episode. Uh, what do we think is inside of it that that guy, that, what would you call him? The yeah, demon Hedgeman. baby? I think, Hed- I mean, demon baby. the thing is, is that she went to go check with a phone person, an IT guy, let's say, mm-hmm. to see what was with the phone and if he could trace it. And he said it's disposable. When the minutes are done, you just throw it out. So I don't know why someone is so concerned about getting it back. But, it, like, you couldn't get the back off. That was the whole problem. Oh. So, because yeah. he, he even said oh. that, the, she even said there's no pictures, there's no text, there was no calls. So it's got to be, like, something. Like, I don't understand Inside why. Inside the phone? She's right. still... That's my only guess. Otherwise, like, why would this guy be like, I don't care? Like who you hitting talk it to. behind the battery, something like that. Okay. Get a freaking hammer, you know, and, and smash it. Yeah. You know what I keep Open. in my back here? I usually keep like a fortune, like from a fortune cookie, inside oh. the back of your phone. Some, sometimes, I mean, I threw it out recently because. Yeah. Things started to sizzle. And- oh. <laughs> That's what I was just going to ask you. There is a hot mess, and I can't wait for the iPhone 5, October 4th. Um, <laughs> but other than that, uh, no, like, I'll usually keep, like, if I get, like, a good fortune, I'll put it back here. So maybe there's some sort of, like, um, a code or something important right. that that guy needs. Oh, or maybe there's, like, a, a disk of, what's it called? A flash, a flash drive, drive. A, drive. a memory card, a zip disk. <laughs> All those Anything. things. <laughs> Something you stick into a computer that's not a floppy disk. Oh, oh the floppy, floppy disk. disk. We're bringing it back Woo! tonight. Yeah, thank you, 1993. I'm aging myself. <laughs> yeah, you are. But you look young. You'll always get thank away you. with people yeah. telling thank you you look like you're 16. I appreciate that. Yeah, you're welcome. I have the opposite problem. I'm not kidding you. People, when I was 12, would say... Oh, are you in college right now? <laughs> <laughs> you should take advantage of that. Thanks, I appreciate party. that. Uh, oh, I had I had fun. Don't yeah, worry. Right, yes. Right. Um, the di- the divorce thing. Should we talk about that? Yes, yeah. we must. Very important. So, that was the first smart move she's made, though, was being finally observant and noticing that woman had an FAO Schwartz bag. <laughs> and no. A the first wedding. thing that she did that was smart was to finally open the planner and look <laughs> through it. Because this is the first time that we yeah. see her doing that. Yeah, like, she why opened you use that the planner, resource? She doesn't use through that. It. Never. No. But now she did. Which and I'm, I'm sorry, no. if you're, like, what if Stephanie was calling Taylor, like, throughout the day? Like, Oh, um, who do you know named, um, you know, Tiffany? Oh, like, wouldn't you be suspicious? Like, hello, like, why don't yeah. you know who these people you are? You know who these people are. Right. Unless you were wasted when you were talking to me the whole <laughs> time. <laughs> <of> the <laughs> friends. Right. Then you know who these people are. Or why doesn't she just pick up the computer and Google them? Facebook page. Uh, yeah, you could have very easily Googled. She never uses a computer. Yeah. She never uses a computer. that's interesting. Why doesn't she use her laptop? Interesting. Minxie. I just think it's weird. Brave. You know what? You're you're oh, allowed boy. to have a temporary like lapse in memory but occasionally, all the time. but right. it's like she literally is a new person. Well, also we have to keep in mind that is. in these episodes, only three days has passed in their time. How do really? you know that? Because last says, in this episode, it, they were yeah. like last night. The oh, party was the party. Was last night. They go huh. a lot. They're, so they're going really slower. slowly in really real time, in fake time, and a time. lot happens. Just like. So she's only, in a matter of three days, they thought they turned their relationship around? Yes. <laughs> we're already, a lot we're already happens. back in the A lot hunter. happens. Okay. It's New York. She told That's them she wanted to stop say. playing games. <laughs> she what? She told them she wanted to stop playing games. I get that, but you need to sort of Magic words. let those Magic thi- words. No, it, it cannot be three <laughs> days. Yeah. Would you take your boyfriend back if he had been messing around after three days of being nice to you? Would you be like, oh, we're back to normal. It's awesome. 
He if, would land if magical. he brought like 18 couture dresses in for me, I would let him do whatever he wanted. Oh, I guess maybe <laughs> I'd make an exception too. <laughs> Um, and if it was Ryan Gosling, uh, uh, could do that, it. that especially, yeah. Ooh. Amen. Hey, girl. I did. Hey, like- girl. <laughs> hey, girl. Hey. <laughs> was that a nod to your stupid MTV interview? If by stupid you mean awesome. absolutely <laughs> genius, Josh Horowitz is a god. He in is his really own funny, right? And those hey girls are hilarious. Yeah, I loved how hilarious. Ryan Gosling knew what that was. By the <laughs> way. Knew- do you know what we're I talking even, about? I can't no, even about it. I'm oh, so okay. confused. Okay. We'll message you later. Yeah. Okay. I'll send um, you something. Perfect. So we got to see, like, you know, I feel like so much of this show is, like, phone chats and, right. oh, da, 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 like, so much trauma. Like, we got to see some, like, good, dramatic, emotional scenes between Andrew and Shiv. Briv. Briv. Sorry. Bridget Briv. as Siobhan. Bridget as Siobhan. You gotta write it down. Yeah. I'm gonna have to let that, like, simmer. I did Let it, it simmer yeah. for a minute. Yeah. Okay. Um... Or Shabbat. And Andrew, like in a glimmer of nice guyness, he says, That's "You can't even meet me halfway. Oh, God, that was nothing is ever enough for you." <sighs> And that's just so sad because in a marriage, you really should go 50-50 all the time, well, you know? It, and it's like she, like, I don't understand more how he would forgive her because, like, even Gemma is like, you never give him, like, the benefit of the doubt. Uh-huh. Ever. Yeah, you're always... You're always questioning you're never him. On his it's team. never good enough. Like, so she's just the ultimate biatch. And do you think... I don't think she means to be. I, well, she's, ha- she's actual, having an affair. I think she... The actual Siobhan does mean to be. Yeah. She's cold. Yes. Maybe not. The actual <laughs> S- Siobhan is evil. <laughs> totally evil. You're just team she's trying to learn since I am. Maybe not. Not the greatest person. <laughs> you never know. And I'm going to shoot it down could right go, now. It could go <laughs> anyway. Maybe Bridget's the real evil one, and Siobhan in Paris is the <laughs> nice, sweet one. No, Keep no way. Siobhan <laughs> is Ever. privileged no. and thinks that she's perfect. No, they came from the same upbringing. They came from Bridget. Top. No, 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 no. I'm and saying C- now. Siobhan has this privileged, high five society years, mentality. Five years in that society, I don't think would change a person that much. Oh, honey, think you're she's, really think good she's at always been this way. Nouveau riche. Oh my gosh, these people Ooh. think. They own the world. In, in 12 hours yeah. that That's they true. can change the world. So um, A lot happens in New York in a short period of time. I know. Time. Yeah. I know. Okay. <laughs> Clearly. Can we talk about how <laughs> Gemma was a little bit more fun to watch this episode? Yes. Uh, I liked her a lot more than I usually did. Agreed. Um, I don't know. I just think that uh, she... She stood out a lot more. She was more relatable, I think, this you, episode. Yeah. She wasn't trying to be like all like funny uh-huh. and yeah. she was over a the more top. Natural. I yeah. think they yeah. might have written that part out. I hope of like the funny best friend. I right. hope so. Well, I was gonna say, can we not have the funny best friend like in twenty seven dresses in <laughs> in thirteen going on thirty? Like we all have the funny best friend. This is a serious show. I don't want the funny best friend. I get that you have to have <laughs> moments of comedic relief, but what were you gonna say? Sorry. Oh, I. Does anyone else feel like her hair got more red? Yes, it did. Yeah. It's like more orange. Right. So, so yeah, she did stand out a little more. This episode. <laughs> <laughs> she do dyed her think, hair again. Do you think SMG wants to be the only blonde on the show? Because we've got a brunette, we've got uh. a redhead, and now we've and Siobhan. Well, Bridget. there also aren't many women. Period. Ma- more males on this show. Yeah. All yes. the detectives, the sponsor, the AA everyone's, sponsor. Everyone's everyone's a man except for this one who's a little snake. Uh, Olivia. Uh, Olivia, who's a snake, Gemma, and SMG. And Juliet. Juliet. She reminds me of Paz de la Huerta. Really? From Boardwalk oh, Empire. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, not a fan of that character either. Obviously, she's not a nice character, but not I don't know. Ma- she's a blonde. Uh, this yeah. lady. Strawberry. Well, so this was, Chappie, this was your favorite she has, character. She had a tinge of ginger in there. Well, it was, it was, uh, why? I don't, you keep referencing her. Yeah, but <laughs> because really it's, the first, her. it's the first time she's actually done something that's like a smart move. Because even like checking in the phone, which I was like, ooh, she's finally figured out something smart. Instead of being like, oh my goodness, what's going on all the time? <laughs> like, let me just roll with it. Sorry, 100%. Did you see how excited though she was when she's like, oh, we can get lunch? Oh, okay. All well, right. Because she's a high society woman. Yeah. Well, she probably, Bridget or Siobhan probably never gave that girl the time of day. Exactly. Um, What I did, like, she, like, another dumb thing. Why would you get out of the elevator and right. show that the divorce person the attorney to office? Yeah, wouldn't you be like, "Oh, I accidentally pressed the wrong floor." Like, I would totally yeah. have tried to cover that yeah. up. Yeah, um, that's what I'm saying. She's not very smart, so that's why I was like, she finally had a moment where she was like observant instead of being like, 
oh wait, do I know you? Like she's been this entire time. <laughs> so, so too bad she couldn't follow through. Ex- and then she blew it and was like, let's get lunch. And that's Lily's like, that's not normal. Oh wait, and you're going to a divorce, a divorce lawyer. attorney. Yeah, cool, completely. Let me call my husband. Uh, <laughs> let me report this to TMZ now. <laughs> <laughs> Which is basically the same girl. thing she did. <laughs> gossip girl, that's right. Well, basically the spotted. last. <laughs> yeah, spotted. Sio Bahan. Sio Bahan going to a divorce attorney. Do we think that Gossip Girl would, would realize that this is not Sio Bahan? I think Gossip Girl, I gossip gossip girl, girl would knows know. all. Oh, Gossip, gossip girl, girl would know knows. for sure. A knows all, Gossip Girl knows all. And they're Those working are... together on Ringer. Absolutely. The CW <laughs> is just merging all of oh, no, that's one ABC family. Yeah. But... So how did Andrew find, find out that she went to the divorce divorce? Because that woman that woman's called called woman's been, right? Called him. Okay. Yes. yes. That's I figured. Okay. That's why you would have thought she would have covered her tracks. Right, a little exactly. Better, but, but of course not. Of course not. We just l- go with the flow if yeah. we're brave. Yep. <laughs> She's new into town and just wants to handle it how she wants to. I don't to. think she gets the whole society thing, and I don't think she knows how it works yet. Clearly not. Clearly, it's Obviously. only been three days. <laughs> You're throwing an addict stripper. <laughs> Stripper <laughs> with a heart of gold, mind and, you. And of course, she has a heart of gold, but I mean, nonetheless, you're throwing Not her. Not according to David. Oh, you don't think Bridget's a good girl? You never know. He oh. thinks Sio Bahan's Things real could good turn twist. real fast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll save that. We'll it. save that for prediction. That's all. I let's just talk That's about. Let's talk about the last major thing that happened in the episode. Um, she got smart actually, and wound up threatening the hitman. Yes. By saying, "I'll turn in the phone to this FBI agent um, who I've got like this, um, real tight, and if if you threaten to expose the dead body that you found, is that really the smartest thing to do, though? Yeah. Well, now yeah. threaten like, someone who's trying that's to kill like old you. School SMG, that's great. I, yeah. love it. <laughs> I enjoyed the moment. I'll yes. give you that. But in the reality, is it smart? Absolutely not. Yeah, exactly. But like she Thank said, you. she bought herself an insurance policy. She did. Right. Or or a little bit of time. Wait, or because whatever it was, whatever she said. It was, she said it was enough policy. to keep her alive. They enough to say that they don't want to hurt you. They just want the phone. So if it's something that important. I would want to find out what it was. True. Another brilliant moment, though. You know you're being followed, so let's go to an abandoned house <laughs> yeah. by ourselves when no one knows where we are right. and whip out our favorite accessory on some man. The and, gun. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's what I'm talking about. Like, she doesn't think, like, wouldn't you think, like, you'd have someone with you or something just, like, to check out, like, have Gemma with you to check this place out? Th- that, or the I'm minute sorry, you pick up the piece me. of paper that says asbestos, you run the other <laughs> way. You're like, oh, <laughs> shit. Could you imagine carrying a gun around in your like a little hand YSL pistol? Bag? No. Why is that weird? <laughs> I become so used I to it. Everyone have a gun it. in the back. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. You're the kind of person who like would have something freaky in your oh bag. <laughs> Just calling it like I see it. There's nothing in there actually. <laughs> um, okay, so as a consensus, we didn't like that she did that. Pulled that out the she, gun. That, no, that, that she that she went to went full eyeliner. circle and said. Yeah, that she went to Detective Eyeliner and and I mean, I did. The no, I did. I, I think it was her taking back her power. I think that was could be because before she was like this victim that was just like all these things were happening to her. Mm-hmm. Now she's in control of what's going to happen a little bit more than she was before. At Word. least for a little while. Yeah, well, at least for a little yeah. while. It was making me kind of anxious how she just like you know shoved his body body in a box and was like, ooh, hope nothing happens. <laughs> like, let me call my boyfriend. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Brilliant moves all around. But then the then the hitman covered and her, covered tracks her tracks for her. Right. Why was I that? still now threatening her. So yeah. You guys, you don't have a decomposing body inside your party. People are gonna smell it. I've never smelled a dead body, and hopefully I never will. But uh, I can, I can imagine. imagine it's not a pleasant odor. Yeah. So one um, would think, right? Yeah, it probably wouldn't be conducive to a nice um, cocktail no, it's party. It's in a box. Whatever, it probably <laughs> still smells. It's a dead, it's dead organs. It's a dead body the, in the a box. blood was leaking yeah. out of the box. I know. Right. Yeah. yeah. But the box was clean. Obviously. The box was clean. Because it all makes sense. <laughs> <on> the <ringer. laughs> okay. The maturity side over land. there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, These on. are all things that actually These are valid happened. Points yes. That we discussed. Okay, fine. Let's take a really quick commercial break. We'll be right back with your ringer news and gossip. Want to find out what the after buzz is about? Janice is a drama queen. This yeah. is the divide that is going to carry the series. Give us a call. 424-256-1729. 424-256-1729. This television and they want it to be as dramatic as possible. I mean, it's Shakespearean. Like you never know what goes on behind closed doors. Find out why After Buzz TV is the number one source for after show content. 
now in the eyes of Jimmy, Nucky is a villain. 424 256 1729. 424 256 1729. I mean, who would you guys rather hear that from? Your husband or your best friend? <laughs> the wig! The wig! No, no, no. That wig. When the TV show is over, get your after buzz on. Get your after buzz on. Oh, oh yeah. hell yeah, yeah, bitch. Can we check in? Yeah, bitch. <laughs> are we all, Are we keeping it real? Yep. We're good. Team real. I Everybody's think I know what that Team means, real. but yes. Team real. <laughs> I'm fusing Bad Girls Club with Ringer. What I else know. would I be doing? That would be a spectacular show. What it? I'd watch it. Could, could week. you ever see SMG tuning into Bad Girls Club? I feel like she's way too classy SMG for that. SMG and Stassi? Woo! Dynamic duo. Could you imagine SMG and Judy? Jesse, <laughs> wouldn't that be awesome? I would die. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's go ahead and get into our ringer news and gossip. Yeah. After Buzz TV News. All right, so Sarah Michelle Gellar's daughter, Charlotte, may only be two years old, but it's hot is developing quite an impressive, sophisticated taste palette. The ringer star admitted that you won't find the usual toddler foods in her home. No Kraft mac and cheese, fish sticks, or chicken nuggets here. Sarah Michelle Gellar said we've already taught her to love healthy food. We took her to sushi on Saturday night, and everybody couldn't <laughs> believe what she inhaled. Does she have teeth? <laughs> Is that even safe, though, to no, be feeding your, your toddler no, no raw fish? Okay, sorry, Jess. Keep going. Well, I think it's important at a young age to enjoy different tastes. Baby Charlotte even gets her own special juice blend. Because, duh, do you think Sarah Michelle Gellar is actually buying juice boxes for a kid? Yeah. That Sarah has started actually the whole family on. We take this green, we make this green juice for her. It's basically everything but the kitchen sink she would do. <laughs> we go to the farmer's market and buy everything and just put it in the juicer. Kale, Swiss chard, carrots, celery. And now we've all started drinking it and we've been healthy. Awkward. Oh, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> there are so oh, many. Turtle to the maximum. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's throw it to David Skibaletti. He looks like he's about to burst with commentary. Well, it's just like there's certain things that you can't feed a two-year-old toddler. Does You're gonna she have give teeth? them food. <laughs> yeah, yeah, baby teeth. Two years old, I'll be not teeth. enough to chew like some elegant yellowtail. No. <laughs> or some smelt <laughs> egg or more. seaweed. What? Oh, yeah. And we know what? Disintegrates though. Here's my other issue. Sushi can get lodged in your throat if it's not chewed properly. Right. I know I've almost <laughs> choked on some sushi before. Uh, so <laughs> don't worry. Uh, a couple You're years ago, really my hungry. dad gave my mom the Heimlich in a restaurant, and it was a scary moment. Oh, so cho- literally choking on a spicy tuna roll. Huh. Kind of impressive of your dad, though. Amen. Bless his soul. He ran around to the other side of the table. My mom was sitting next to me, and he, like a pro, okay, he knows nothing about <laughs> paramedics or whatever. <laughs> he full on started pumping my mom's stomach until she oh, project, projected it out. <sighs> but, anyways, my point is, I, I don't know if a two year old can properly. Like, raw fish digest is it. like. Isn't it like oh. unhealthy if you have too much of it for like a whole human body? Yeah. Like, <laughs> let alone a little two year old? Look, let's not jump to conclusions. Maybe SMG and <laughs> Freddie. Her, her daughter. Her daughter. Maybe her SMG and Freddie had sushi and Charlotte, baby Charlotte, had cut up teriyaki chicken. I think okay. I can okay. Either way, no. this kid's going to grow up to be a little bit too pretentious for her well, own good. Yes. Well, she's going to be going to Suya for her birthday. Yeah, yeah. Or I, she's going to rebel Ugh. and become Bridget. Oh, I thought you were going to say, and she's going to rebel and go to Burger King. <laughs> and go to McDonald's or that, or and that. only eat chicken nuggets I mean, the beauty fries. of having a child and being a child is, like, having Kraft macaroni and cheese and fish Amen. sticks well, and chicken nuggets. Like, and just, you When know. your body's, like, okay with that and right. you're not, like, my age. Well, and, uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, not to get all Dr. Phil or anything, but, like, the thing that I noticed growing up is that my friends who always had, like, the healthy food in their house, um when they would go to other kids' houses, they would raid yeah. the pantry because it's like, oh my God, when I go to Sally's house, I can eat Pop-Tarts and macaroni and cheese yep. and ice cream. My and roommate would come over thing. to eat everything yeah. in my pantry. My, I mean, my old neighbor, like, yeah, she just- I was gonna say, over. you had a roommate in sixth grade? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. My old neighbor would come over and just eat everything in my pantry because like- She didn't have And then you home. just like gorge on like all of this horrible food for you. Right, and then they go home and they're miserable again. So maybe sure. baby Charlotte will resort to Burger King when she's <laughs> six, hope. seven years old. <laughs> and Let's she's hope. having kale and Swiss chard and carrots and celery. All mixed together is 
kind of gross. I'm just going to put that out you there. You know what? <laughs> Even individually, some of that's not. It's pretty well, questionable. Well, Kale is fine. They're all fine, I think, by themselves. <laughs> I think but together. Blended together. Okay, so after Buzz mission for next week, I'll bring the blender. <gasps> you, okay. I'll bring the Swiss shard. Bring you bring shark. the kale. All right. Okay, we'll do it. Okay. Dad, I'll bring the carrots. Okay, sorry, we digress. Jesse, number two, please. All right, so Sarah Michelle Geller on the cover of Health Magazine, married for nine years with an A-list career and a two-year-old daughter. Who eats sushi. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty clear that Sarah Michelle Geller knows a thing or two about balancing her life. But much like the twins she plays on CW's Ringer, she admits to having dual personalities. I'm Sarah Michelle Geller when I'm at work, and I'm Sarah Prince when I'm Aww. not. Catching up with Health Magazine for its October 2011 issue, SMG reveals her secrets to living a happy, healthy, and successful life. You can, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you can head on over to health.com to read the full interview. That's cute. It is really yeah. cute. It's I think smart that's why of her. It works. Yeah. I think it works because she's not superstar SMG all the time at home. She knows how to detach herself from her work, which a lot and of actresses takes don't. His, and she takes his last name. Absolutely. I love that. I think she... You well, don't. Does she I legally do. take <laughs> it? I, I think, think it's great. Le- I think she did legally take it, but for state... For work. Yeah, for work, she probably... I love that. I think it's great that she, at work, she keeps her work and her personal life separate. That's the only way she's ever going to have a successful and long-term relationship. Completely. And they're they're one of the only Hollywood couples that are still together right now. Yes. Yeah. At this point. I would hope... So. Oh, God, please. I hope we didn't just jinx them. I know, no, right? I would die. Would, and I hope we can jinx baby Charlotte and make her go to <gasps> Burger King. Oh, oh my God. The rest of her Child life. of a broken home doesn't get, <laughs> doesn't get edamame anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. Oh, God. <laughs> Prince kid problems. <laughs> we should start a baby Charlotte Twitter, by the way. Let's do it. Uh, yes. Worship her. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, some people like Surrey. Some people yeah. like Shiloh. I happen to be a Charlotte fan. I'm Team a Violet Char. fan. Team Char. Team Char. Who? Violet. Violet. Oh, stop I it. I love Violet. Love. I love don't. Kingston Rossdale. <gasps> yeah. Love Kingston. He's gonna be a heartbreaker. Heartbreaker. Sorry, I'm not sorry you know that, that I feel like a pedophile. Bonnie's I love it. You know that the Stefanis and the Jolie Pitch just had a play date? Yes, I saw that online and it Diet. looked oh. like I should have been one, there. That's one child I'm <laughs> creepily like, standing in the corner. So <laughs> <jealous> <laughs> of their Breathing now. heavily. <laughs> <laughs> Lurking. On that note, uh, last piece of news and gossip, please. All right, I'm going to call his name Ion. Yon. Yon. Isn't Yon. it Yoan Griffith? Yeah, Yon there it is. Yoan Griffith, but it's, spe- it's, pr- it's spelled Griffith. Yon Griffod. <laughs> he's, he's Welsh. Spells Welsh, oh. crazy Welsh. He's- yeah. So despite the fact that, y- I'm going to say Yon, plays <laughs> one of the Yon. many hotties Shiv is juggling, he admits that he was initially underwhelmed by the role. On the page in the pilot, there wasn't much to Andrew. He's kind of an ambiguous character. So I spoke to the creators and they pitched an amazing arc for the series and my character. I was blown away and I was overwhelmed by their interest in me to play the part, he told Entertainment Weekly. He wouldn't spill any deets, but we can expect <laughs> to find out later this season exactly why Shishi and Andrew's <laughs> relationship. <laughs> hey. yes. I wanted to give her a new nickname. Thank you for that. Shishi. Accolades, accolades for that one. <laughs> Ten points for Shishi. I was like, that's not on that page. <laughs> and Angie's relationship went south. Plus, whether or not his millions are legitimately earned. Oh. As for oh. what? Oh. As for what it's like okay. working opposite megastar Sarah Michelle Gellar. Yon confessed he was initially <laughs> starstruck, but the two have struck up a bond over having babies the same age. Does his kitty sushi? Probably not. Probably, Probably not. not. I was kind of You're tongue-tied, but when I first met her, the way you can be when you sit down with the superstar. Oh my God, it's Buffy. Now we're best buds. It's a lovely, lovely feeling. He got. Can you say his name one more time, please? Yo. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. Yo. and she she just came out of that Yo. old news and gossip, and I am happy about it. Oh. <laughs> Karita Rizzo, who's, who couldn't join us tonight, but she, oh, and she can't join us next week. She'll be working in Canada, but the week after, hopefully, she'll be here. Um, she's interviewed the entire cast, and I remember the first week she was throwing out his fancy name, and I just was like, she what? just knew yeah. the names like it was nobody's business. The back of her. Hand. Yeah, yeah, she's interviewed all of them. She said they're all fantastic. But um, no, I, I think that that's cool that they're going to eventually reveal um, if he's a legitimate businessman. Because well, he works like for he a hedge fund. He runs a hedge fund. Right. Which nobody, if you talk to anyone oh, outside crap. of that world, no one knows what a hedge fund yeah. person really does. is. Yeah, exactly. I mean, what does a hedge fund do? He they seems... like have other people's money and just shuffle it around, yeah. basically. Yes. Yeah. They and they have investors. Penny, and 
None of it makes sense. See, this, is where, this is where John G actually would come in handy. Yeah, if only he'd call in. Yeah. He seems legitimate. She seems like a snake, though, so. Olivia? True. True. Where that's all, like, gonna come yep. into play. Yeah, Paz de la Huerta is a wolf in, sh <laughs> in wolf's clothing, apparently. Because she's outwardly <laughs> evil. Um, okay, cool. Thank you so much, uh, Jesse, for reading that. That will do it for this week's News and Gossip on Ringer. Let's get into our predictions. <laughs> David Predictions oh, 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 oh. Stop Is that it. It's fair <laughs> no, It started earlier today apparently <laughs> I love it Oh gosh um, That was great uh, Alright so my favorite thing about the Really really super fast trailer that we saw um, Preview for next week I'm pretty sure I saw a little bit of feisty Gemma punching Shiv action. Oh. What? I, I saw that too. I saw that too. Yeah. Jess, can you? Sorry, can you? I think cut it's to about the... to. No. Oh yeah, fast no, forward a little, please. Little gem piece. I'm pretty sure I caught a glimpse. Oh of that my occurring. goodness! I can only hope. <laughs> well, Gemma probably finds out that Siobhan was sleeping with her yeah. husband. Right, and she thinks. Oh about my Siobhan. goodness! How rude is it that they injected him with heroin? I know. Oh, oh, we didn't even talk back, about that. Back to the drug problem. <gasps> how <laughs> mean is it? Like he's sober. Leave him alone. But don't oh, wait. God. Don't you gotta find a vein first? How do they just stick it in his neck? I, I, I don't kill someone. I, I'm not an expertise on that it topic. Might. Yeah. Really? I would assume that wherever you stick it, you, it's gonna have an effect on okay. you. Okay. All right. So that sucks. Now he's gonna be all strung out. That's what she said. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> What did I say? Doesn't Wherever matter. you stick it, it's, it's going to oh have God, an effect. effect on you. <laughs> oh that was burn. well played. That was really well Dirty played. Burn. No, it's okay. It's holding it it's in. It's okay. It's Ringer. It's not Pretty Little Liars. I know. Here okay. it is. Okay. So she's been recorded saying something over uh -huh. the phone. Silence. There, oh! See? Oh! there it is. There was a slap. Yes. Okay. So I think it's eventually going to come out, and I think it's going to be really bad because... <gasps> Gemma's been confiding in Siobhan the yeah. whole time. Or, sorry, Bridget as Siobhan. Briv. 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 <laughs> Relentless. <laughs> She's, all she does is say, I think say he's it. having an affair. It wasn't the nanny. I confronted the nanny. Who is he sleeping yeah. with? Blah, blah, blah. And, and then to find out that it was secretly her the whole time is so evil. Well, maybe Briv will finally own Tell? up to the fact that she's not Siobhan. I... Siobhan. You heard me correctly. I said Siobhan. Siobhan. I can't pronounce um, her name. Because Bahan. it's spelled funny. It's Sio Bahan in my book. Spelled it's the Gaelic way. She, she. I know. Say she, she. <laughs> I, love, I love how you knew that it was the Gaelic way. Well, because I remember I told you this before. Like I used to, in, in uh, high school, my friends would call me Siobhan. And then I... You know, they told me that's the Celtic way, the Gaelic way. So Celtic, the Celtic way, rather regal. Oh yes, <laughs> boyo, love it. Yeah. Um, any other predictions you guys have for the upcoming yes. weeks? Yeah. Oh, go oh. for it. I got one. Okay, let's hear it. Okay, the fact that she had to call Henry. Like, remember how we were wondering who she's working with, and we all thought it might have been him. Yeah. And it was private, and he like had no idea what it could be, and she couldn't say anything. It's it can't be him. Okay. I don't think it's. Well, him for either while, that she's working with. She could be working with Olivia. Ooh, yeah, the the hedge fund partner. Oh, I keep forgetting her name. <laughs> <laughs> like oh, the no, most no. simple name. Olivia Charles. No, no, she can't because Olivia, remember at the party, Olivia was like, Siobhan, oh, do you mind yeah. if I have a minute with oh, your husband yeah. or something? I think she genuinely thinks that that was Siobhan at the party. Unless she knows that it's Bridget. Oh, and she's and playing she's along. And she's just playing along. Uh, someone, someone is playing along. Someone is. But Oh, God, they keep it so complicated for us. <laughs> That's to keep you coming back. It, well, of course, for SMG, and I, I would do whatever. Well, do we know why Henry wanted to take out the money? By the way, oh, I thought it was to run away. He was um, taking out the With, money. He said he, he wanted said to publish, to his, publish book his own book. I don't think it was. I don't think that was the real reason. I don't think so either. I think he, he wanted to run away with, with conviction. Smart. Yeah, exactly. I think Henry's emotionally unstable. This was the hottest moment of the entire episode, and it lasted for three uh, seconds. seconds. Okay. She's Angel wearing face. shoes in bed. Wait, how funny yeah. is it, though, that this guy works for the, Her the hedge husband. fund? Yeah. Which I'm sure That's... she knows, correct? Well, she, no, she knows, but I'm just wondering, like, if it's if his name is on like is like one of the main ones, wouldn't you think that like his high society like wife, wife would be known? Would yeah. be kind of like more recognizable? Absolutely. You always know who the CEO and his wife is of whatever company you're talking about. So 
I don't. It's just bizarre. Whatever. That girl doesn't have a soul or a conscience. So nope. she probably and, just saw his teeth. Or does she? <laughs> Tune You're in. Sticking by it. <laughs> Always playing devil's advocate. No, <laughs> I'm gonna stick Siobhan. behind Siobhan because you're gonna wait and see. Oh, just like how Emily Fields had, had period cramps. <laughs> you wait and see. Yeah, and she didn't have period cramps. Or Your track she? record <laughs> is not impressive. <laughs> um, on that note, anything else you guys want to throw in really quickly? No. Oh. No. All right, well, this was fun. Yes. Thank you guys so much for joining. Stephanie, David, Siobhan Taylor, and myself, we hope you join us next Tuesday night when the next episode of Ringer airs. Yep. Will we be here? Yep. Will yeah. we be as awesome as we were tonight? Absolutely. Better. All right, Ringer on three. One, One two, two, three. Ringer! Ringer! From producers Kevin Undergaro and Phil Svitek, engineer DJ Jesse Janity, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. If you have questions or comments, be sure to buzz us at info at AfterBuzzTV.com. And you can find us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter by searching for AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.